attachments. And we're here today with the Construction Attachments brand of four-in-one buckets. This is the heaviest, best bucket on the market. This bucket was designed specifically for very large, high horsepower, over 100 horsepower track machines. And it has some unique features. Most of them that separate this from the other buckets are going to be on the back and we're going to turn around and show that to you. This is an 84 inch width. This is going on my particular track machine because uh, I just sold my bucket and this is what I wanted for myself. This does have the teeth option on it. You can get it without any teeth. You can get it with bolt-on teeth, which are top load teeth, which will not go below the bucket if you wanted to still be able to scrape uh, mud off your asphalt or snow. You can also get it with a tooth bar option or a reversible bolt-on edge if you were doing a lot of snow scraping where you wouldn't be wearing out the edge that's welded into your bucket. Some of the things that make this the best bucket, number one, it's using all of the best grades of plate steel that are in this bucket. There are no mild steel. Even though this is a heavy bucket, we try to keep them from being any heavier than they have to be uh, using like a mild steel. So you may find a bucket out there that might be as heavy, but chances are it's not half as strong, and that would be by design and by the material and the quality of what they're using. This has a very high nickel carbon casted steel hinge here, so that does two things. It makes it absolutely stronger than any type of regular steel that we could use. It saves space from being in your way because of its strength, and it helps keep the weight of this bucket down all at the same time. So you've got a, a, your bottom clamshell in here that's super reinforced, and there's a whole nother bottom under this. There's an eight inch wide back uh, rail brace directly behind that three quarter inch thick cutting edge that's eight inches wide on the front. Plus there are several brace strips that you can see in our individualing pictures. They're just to see all the bracing and all the beef that's been put into this. And that's what it takes to, to, to the 100 plus horsepower track machines and be able to live through it. And the biggest part of living through a 100 horsepower track machine is going to be everything I'm going to show you from behind. Now this bucket is designed specifically for track machines, meaning that a track machine sits a little higher than a tired machine. So the hitch plate is put on the back. So when you're trying to grade level, that when your loader goes all the way down, this bucket is designed to be able to grade level where you're not dipping to try to get to grade level or you're not well above uh, your bucket being flat while you're trying to grade. You could use this, this bucket with a tired machine, but it is built and designed for a track machine. Okay, so now we're at the back side of this severe extreme duty bucket. And we're going to point out just why this bucket is different than anyone else's bucket and what you're paying for. To start with, this hitch being a track ready bucket is positioned at the right height for you like you're going to want it. Now a skid steer only pushes on so much area where each individual locking plate are or if you have a hydraulic hinge, either way, you're only going to get about the surface area of this right here that's going to take all the push from your machine. And when you talk about a large 100 horsepower track machine, you are basically got a small dozer. So what we've done at Construction Attachments, they've spread, this, this has been raised to give you a little extra distance between your cylinders and tracks. Also this hitch plate here has been raised and extended out 18 inches. So instead of having the 43 inches that you normally would have of push for this backing plate, it has been spread wider with this 18 inches of another plate under here. Plus there is another brace directly under here that comes out to give you that maximum push. So what severe extreme duty means to construction attachments is that it, this bucket is built to outperform your machine. Um, everybody likes to be able to get all they can out of their machine and this bucket is meant to take it. So regardless of what you do with your machine, this bucket should outlast and outlive anything you can do with it. 
So when we go to things and talk about like the hydraulics and how it's plumbed, we could use steel lines on here, make it look a little neater, but the only problem with a steel line is if you crimped a steel line or damaged it, the chances of being able to find someone with a, with a steel line machine that has the flaring tools and all and be able to make a repair for you out in the field or wherever you happen to be is gonna be slim and none. So we keep it to the rubber hoses, we run it through the hitch plate, protect the hoses the best they can, we send all of our buckets out from everything attachments with hoses and couplers. So if you're thinking about replacing the bucket on your skid steer, if you've got a track machine, chances are you've either pushed in the back or you've worn it out because it was a cheap quality bucket and you're ready to make a new purchase. A four-in-one definitely may, you want to make a consideration just because of all the things you can do with it. Of course, you can use it like a standard bucket. Uh, one of the best things you can do with it is when the clamshell is all the way open, of course you have a great dozer blade to be able to do any type of straight pushing and things like that. Another great use of a four-in-one bucket is when the clamshell is fully opened and you tilt the bucket way down and you're using your back cutting edge, which is here, down and you back drag, this edge here will actually be up in the air and you will be cutting with your back and the dirt, like if you were doing a crowned road, like a gravel drive or something, the dirt is going to be taken off in the center, and then it will fill this bucket up, similar to what it does on a box blade on a tractor. And then it will just filter over the edge of the cutting edge where the teeth are, and leave a really flat, nice like road-like look. So back dragging with that rear edge is a great thing. You can push straight with your dozer edge. You can use it like a standard bucket. And then of course there's always what it was designed for the first time is using it as a grapple. So it has the nice teeth and all cut over here on the side. So you can pick up logs, sticks, debris, things like that. If you have this bucket and it's on your machine, you will find just more and more, the more you use it, the more things you're gonna find that you like it for over a standard general purpose bucket. So everything attachments, sells all the construction attachments, attachments, <laughs> and uh, they're all US made, and they're absolutely the best.